Judy, even before the DNC was gaveled into play this afternoon, the first major incident happened, a breach of the fence line to the north of the United Center. Chicago police riot teams have just now cleared West Haven Park, which is on the other side of the fence line. You can see there are long lines of Chicago police here now blockading the entryway to the park and also to the fences that were breached. Uh, it looked like this a couple of hours ago, uh, around 345 or so, there were protesters who broke away from the main permitted protest and managed to remove large sections of iron fencing and they got into the secure area of the United Center, even though it was a one ring of the perimeter. Uh, they did not get to the front door of the United Center or even close to it, but it certainly was a breach of security here and one that has the police superintendent and authorities with the Secret Service and the Capitol Police very concerned. There have now been at least four arrests, according to what the police superintendent is telling us. Some of those who came over the fence or through the fence uh, and police quickly moved in. Uh, they had not been seen in riot gear the past 24 hours, despite uh, large numbers of protesters on the streets of Chicago. But today they had no choice but to break out their riot equipment because they weren't sure which way this was going to go. U.S. Capitol Police with gas masks, uh, Chicago Police with face shields and uh, with their batons in hand. They are still here after clearing the park, trying to keep people away from the fence line. Uh, a little while ago, uh, I talked briefly with the Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling. What is, what's the plan to prevent this from happening again? Well, that's, that's something that we're going to have to assess. I mean, we need is, to assess that. Is, is the fencing sufficient or? We need to assess that. That's an assessment we're going to make once we clear everything. This is known as Park 578. This is, along with Union Park, one of the two that protest groups uh, had petitioned and planned to either step off from or gather in after their protest marches. Uh, this is the one this afternoon where some protest members uh, managed to make it to the fence line, managed to remove sections of fence, and then get on the other side, the United Center side of the fencing. And that's what has caused uh, this kind of a response from Chicago. Chicago police. Again, the police superintendent tonight trying to regroup on this, figure out what to do about uh, literally several miles of fencing that exists, not only in an outer ring around the United Center, but several inner rings as well. The concern is that the convention is just starting tonight. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.